Hi, I am Lopa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel, Electronic Science Tutorial. I will start a new lecture series on NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam for Electronic Science subject. Those who are not follow my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. Welcome to the continuation class of tunnel devices. Today we discuss about tunnel diode. We know that the tunnel devices based on quantum mechanical tunneling. Okay, so that's why the diode is named as tunnel diode. This topic is very much important for West Bengal SET exam and also it is very much important topic for UGC NET exam for electronic science. Okay, there are some properties which are very important. So, let's start our class. So, what are the basic properties of tunnel diode? So, today I will discuss about this topic in this slide. That is the tunnel diode was discovered by L. Askey in 1958 and so the tunnel diode is also called Askey diode. So it is the first point. It is very important point. That is it discovered by L. Askey in 1958 and so the tunnel diode is also called ASCII diode. Okay. Tunnel diode consists of a simple PN junction in which both P sides and N sides are degenerated. Okay. So, what is the meaning of degenerated? We talk about this topic. When the concentration of the impurity atoms is very high, it is about 10 to the power 24 per meter cube or it is about 10 to the power 25 per meter cube in both P region and N region and the junction is abrupt, then it is called the degenerated semiconductor. So, tunnel diode consists of a simple pin junction in which both P side and N side are degenerated. That means it is heavily doped and the doping concentration is about 10 to the power 24 per meter cube or about 10 to the power 25 per meter cube 10 to the power 25 per meter cube. Okay. So, this is the second important point. The third point is that the depletion layer width of a PN junction diode becomes very small and it is near about 10 nanometer or less than 10 nanometer. Okay. So, this is the third point. The fourth point is when we draw the static characteristics, we saw the three components of current. First one is band to band tunneling, second one is excess current and the third one is diffusion current. Okay, And also when we saw the current voltage characteristics or static characteristics of a tunnel diode, we saw a negative region slope when the diode is in forward bias condition. And this negative slope is occurred due to quantum mechanical tunneling. We talk about this topic in later slide. So, this is the basic properties and this is the circuit 
symbol of a tunnel diode. This side is anode and this side is cathode. It means this is P side and this is N side. And this P and N, both junctions, both sides are heavily doped. That means it is degenerated. Okay. So, these four are the basic properties of tunnel diode. When a voltage is applied, the electrons tunnel from the conduction band to the valence band or valence band to the conduction band. And this process is called tunneling process. So, what are the necessary conditions for tunneling? Number one is occupied energy state exists on the side from which the electrons can tunnels. Okay. That means in each side there are an occupied energy state must be exist. And this is the basic criteria for tunneling process by which electron can tunnel from conduction band to valence band or valence band to conduction band. Okay. The next point is unoccupied energy state exists on the side from which the electron can tunnel. That means there must be an unoccupied energy state exists at the same energy level on the both side to which the electron can tunnel. Okay. Number three is the tunneling potential barrier height is low and the barrier width is small enough and this is the another important topic that means the tunneling potential barrier that is also the barrier potential height is must be low and the barrier width is also small enough for electron tunneling from conduction band to valence band. And the fourth one is the momentum is conserved in the tunneling process. Okay. So, these are the basic necessary condition by which an electron can tunnel from conduction band to valence band and vice versa. Number one is there must be an uh, occupied energy state exist on the either side from which the electrons can tunnel. Number two is the unoccupied energy state must be exist at the same energy level on the side to which the electron can tunnel. And the number three is the tunneling potential barrier height is must be low. And the barrier width is also small enough. And so the momentum is conserved in the tunneling process. So these are the basic criteria for electron tunneling in the tunnel diode process. Okay. So these all are the basic properties and basic necessary conditions of tunnel diode. Okay, so today I will end this session here. Thank you. If you like my video, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. Then we will see you in the next video. Thank you.